Hey, this is Sean, and I'm coming to you today to encourage you not to be frustrated or to spiral into a difficult scenario when you sense that you're going through a wilderness experience. Like right now behind me, there's a storm coming. The weather service is warning us. You might even catch some thunder in the background here. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but um, this severe thunderstorm's coming behind us. And the last encouragement post that I made was connected to guarding your heart and allowing the Holy Spirit to give you peace that passes all understanding. And today I want to follow that up by saying as I seek the Lord to guard my heart, as I seek the Lord to understand that my heart's the wellspring of life and allow the Holy Spirit to give me the peace that passes all understanding, I realize I need to be willing to go through the wilderness. So when the Lord leads me into the wilderness, and we see this in Jesus' life where the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. Jesus responds to temptation by quoting from Deuteronomy. And so I'd like to just go to Deuteronomy 8 and share with you something. And this will be the, the real encouragement point for today. And that is that Jesus responds in the wilderness by saying, man doesn't live by bread alone. Like, don't you know that? And the people listening in this case is going to be, first of all, the enemy, Satan, the people listening later on would have understood Jesus quoting from Deuteronomy 6 and then Deuteronomy 8. But in Deuteronomy 8, when Jesus says, you know, man doesn't live by bread alone, there would have been this capture moment where the people listening later on when they heard the scripture and heard it written down through the gospels, they would have actually heard you know, God giving the Ten Commandments. And so Jesus is reminding them in Deuteronomy 8 to obey the whole law, like the whole thing. And he's saying that I led you into the wilderness for 40 years. And so Jesus is referring back to this Deuteronomy 8 passage for 40 years. And God's saying where I could humble you and test you and to see if you would walk in obedience. And remember this, your clothes did not wear out for 40 years. Like I was there with you supernaturally and did not allow your clothes to wear out. I gave you manna, supernaturally fed you. And how God was saying, I'll do the same. And so as we go through the wilderness, whether we look back at the 40 years in the wilderness uh, from the children of Israel, or we look at the 40 days with Jesus, let's allow the Holy Spirit to not only guard our hearts, but to allow the Holy Spirit to help us practice the presence of God while we're going through a wilderness experience. Let's not consider this humbling as something that's bad. Let's not consider the testing as if it's something that was bad. And let's find ourselves with Holy Spirit peace and Holy Spirit power walking in obedience. Be encouraged today, and God bless you.